In this video, I'm going to walk you through step by step how I use Fathom Note Taker for client notes on Zoom. So this is AI tools for productive note taking. This is how I'm making it so I never will have to take notes again from client sessions or group sessions that I hold and how I automate client note taking. So let's jump into it. So I'm going to actually use Fathom right now to do a step by step tutorial of how I use this to go back and get content ideas and use things that were said on the call uh, to create more content like podcast episodes, social media posts etc. So I'm going to search my client's name right here. So within seconds, I was able to find the exact video that I was referring to that I wanted to create a podcast episode about. So now what I'm going to do is go down to their questions because I know he asked a specific question about how to share a story effectively. So I'm going to look in here, right here already. This is the part in the video. So now I know after watching this quickly, my response to that question is right here. So I've already narrowed down a 50 minute video to minute 42. In the matter of seconds, I've found the call out of hundreds of client calls. I've found the specific time in the call. And now all I've got to do is listen to about a minute worth of content on double speed. And I'll be able to have all the notes that I need for this podcast episode for me to remember exactly what was said and how it was said specifically to get him this aha moment and key takeaway so that he could start sharing his story effectively and more people could be helped by that same exact aha moment. That's how the, this tool works. And that's how I use it to generate awesome content so that I don't like so what was happening before is I, is I would try to write down the aha moment uh, in like a sauna or somewhere where I uh, keep track of notes and ideas for content. And what would happen is I would lose the aha moment because it wasn't said the way it was said before. I didn't remember the context or just something was missing. And so I couldn't fully understand and uh, make the same thing happen for more people where they'd get the same aha moment. And so doing it this way, where I can just revisit the exact conversation and hear exactly what was said in the moment, I can recreate that for more people and get them the same epiphanies, which is insane. So that's one way you can use Fathom AI. So before I started using Fathom, what I would do was either a pen and paper to take notes, or I would pull up something like a Google Doc, have my client's name at the top, and just be taking notes inside of each one of their sessions, and then copying and pasting that into my CRM, which was a lot of steps, but it also wasn't that great because I was deep in the conversation. So sometimes I would look back, my notes didn't really make sense, and it wasn't that easy to just figure out what the breakthroughs were in the coaching sessions. Uh, and it was a lot of also time where I had to be away from the things they were saying, focusing on what I wanted to write and what my next questions were. So it really just took my presence away from that conversation. And I feel like I'm much better as a coach when I can be fully present with my client and you know not have something else pulling my attention away. So now what happens is Fathom AI takes all the notes for me and I can go back and there's a beautiful summary afterwards that I can refer back to. So not only that, Right now, this is how I just use this. I'm not even kidding. Right before I filmed this video, I'm going to show you a couple really cool features that this has. So let's say you wanted to re-listen back to a client call or a sales call. Either way, it doesn't matter. You can listen back anywhere from one X speed all the way to two X speed, which is really cool. So you don't have to waste time listening uh, in one X speed. Like right now, you should be listening to me on double speed. That's pro tip. So fast forward me uh, on two X speed just to get the most use of your time. So then what it's going to do is if you just do it chronological, it's going to break down the order of your call and the highlight, highlight key elements. It's going to actually pull for you. This I did not touch. I did not, I did not do anything to make this AI do a better job than it already did over here it's going to tell you the questions that were asked, which is cool. So what I've even done is I've taken their questions and I've pulled these before for Q and a sessions. I've turned this into content. Like you don't understand how much valuable content you could create for social media just from one call that you've gone through with the client. I like, I'm turning this whole call into a podcast episode, right? And I have the data. I have all of the notes right here. It's where I can do that effectively. Isn't that crazy? Okay. So now, so all I do, look, this is, this is the free version. This is chronological. I don't even have access to this other stuff because I'm not paying for it, but really for what I need at this point on my journey, I have the free version and that's all I need, which is really cool. So we can copy this summary. We can put it in Google docs. There's even a way that you could actually create a zap and make this automatically upgrade and upload into your CRM under the client name and email, which is really cool. Uh, cause I want to show you, I use this 
all the time. Like, look, all the time I'm using this. Okay. And so I mean what I say. I don't have to take notes anymore. With all of these clients, what's happening is the notes are happening on autopilot. Isn't that insane? Okay, so I even use this if I'm gonna do a group coaching session because what I can do is I can copy and I can paste the notes into the replay section of that thing so that when people wanna go and they wanna choose a specific replay that they wanna watch, they can actually see exactly what's inside that recording in the notes section, which is really cool. And the other part of this that I haven't shared with you yet is if you wanna share the recording with your client or with like your sales team, for example, all you've got to do is copy the share link and they're going to get the exact same screen that you do and they can watch it the same way. So a lot of times I do deconstruction calls with my clients and I want to review their sales calls. And so all they've got to do is just copy this share link, send it over to me and I have full access to that recording where I can comb through it and, you know, audit it basically. Okay. So that's super cool. So now what I want to show you is actually on Zoom, how Fathom enters the room. Okay. So once you have Fathom set up, and I'm not going to give you a step-by-step -step how to set Fathom up because it's very self-explanatory and Fathom will just guide you through that. Once you have it set up and you've linked your Zoom, once you start any type of Zoom meeting that's associated with your account, Fathom is automatically going to try to join your Zoom room. Okay. So what I do here, this is a little Fathom desktop app. You can see it right here. Okay. So if I press start recording, What's going to happen is the recorder is going to join your room as a guest. So see, Teams Fathom Note Taker entered the waiting room. So now I, as the host, can admit it or I can make it not come in. So a lot of times what I get is, oh my gosh, my Fathom Note Taker follows me all over the place. I don't know how to get it out of these rooms. It's annoying. I don't want it in there because there's sometimes like maybe you're having a team meeting, maybe you're in someone else's Zoom and you feel like your Fathom's following you all over and you don't want it to do that. All you've got to do is just press this button that says cancel recording. That's it. That's it. So I can admit it. This is what it's going to look like. Teams Fathom note taker. It, that's it. And it's taking notes. It's doing its thing. It's here. It's active. And if I press this cancel recording, it's going to remove it from the room. So that's all you have to do from a user perspective. If you ever don't want Fathom following you around, you just kick it out. That's it. Uh, and then afterwards, after your recording, in just a few seconds, like it's speedy fast, boom, you get a link. You can go to that page that I was just showing you with one of my clients. You can get all the notes from there. Or you can share the link with them. It's really that simple. Uh, I would say the number one thing that I use this for is staying organized with my client notes. And then I don't have to do them at the same time. And then I also love the ease of referring back to specific calls and specific points inside of those calls. So when you're also using Fathom during your Zoom call, there's actually places where you can add highlights. So if your client says something really juicy and you want to make sure that it's highlighted for later, or if you say something that you feel like would be really great for a piece of content, you can press the little highlight button and it's going to notate that so that when you go back to review the notes later, you're going to be able to access those highlights. There's also an action item button too. So if you're going over a checklist or something that you feel like is going to be helpful for your client, you know, Here's all the, here's the three things that you need to do before we meet next week. Boom, boom, boom. You can actually tag each one of those things as you're saying them as action items. And that's also going to go in the note section in your Fathom note taker. So it's just going to better organize and categorize stuff just for when you or your client refer back to it later, which is really neat. Uh, all of these features along with the sales script. So let's say you're on a sales call. It's going to give you what their objections were, how you handled them, where they're at, where they want to go, what their pain points are, which once again is incredibly useful for creating content around, uh, filming stuff for FAQs, right? All of the things, uh, you're going to have so much data just from using the system. So if you want to try out premium, you actually get three months free. If you click on my link below this video, you can give it a try and see if you like those extra features. It's a really freaking awesome AI tool that's just going to make note taking a breeze because you don't have to take notes anymore <laughs> and you won't miss anything and you get to be fully present in the conversations that you have. So if you're enjoying this content and you're getting value from this channel, hit that subscribe button because we are just getting started. I have so much more value, so much more knowledge that I just can't wait to share with you to help you build a business that ultimately sets you free so you can own your work and own your life. And that's what we're here to do as we systemize and streamline your back end of your business. So thank you for being here and I'll catch you in the next video video.